Millions of women, especially young ones, choose to keep their cell phone in their bra. It's convenience is the main thing. I mean, it's right here, so I don't have to wear a purse or like if I have a dress on that's straight up and down, I don't have pockets. A recent survey reveals 40% of college females make that choice at least some time during the day and 3% for more than 10 hours a day. We must make the bra a no phone zone. Dr. John West believes storing the cell phone next to the breast for an extended time could cause breast cancer. But since cell phone technology is fairly new, evidence from critical long-term studies simply isn't available yet. We won't know if in the next 20 or 30 years. We won't have collected sufficient number of cases to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the cell phones are causing the cancer. West says one clear signal is that he's seeing more breast cancer in young women than he's ever seen in his 40 years of practice. When you take something that and put it directly on the skin, it's high energy microwave radiation for a prolonged period of time. In young women with vulnerable developing breasts, we may have a perfect storm. Doctors diagnosed Donna Janes with breast cancer at just 38 years old. I had to go through a mastectomy, um, a single mastectomy. Um, went through chemo, six rounds of chemo, uh, 39 doses of uh, radiation. It was just back to back continuously. It was uh, took a heavy toll. Donna questioned how she got her cancer since she had no risk factors. The answer, she says, was on her x-ray. I used to tuck my cell phone into my bra right in this area here. And when I was diagnosed, I had imaging done, and the doctors told me that the tumors were in the area of 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And they were shaped like the cell phone. Donna stored her cell phone in her bra for about 10 years, but not anymore. Rachel De Palma shares an almost identical story. Well, I used to wear it um, over the left side, um, and I would just tuck it in my bra whenever I would go for hikes and walks with my girlfriends. That went on for about five years. I just happened to be putting on a shirt, and I noticed the lump, and I thought, well, that's a little odd. That I don't remember that being there. Stunned by her x-ray, Rachel came to what she calls an this obvious conclusion. The area where the cancer was found, the box that the radiologist drew just happened to be the same size as my BlackBerry phone. Despite stories like these, women carrying cell phones in their bras is, if anything, becoming even more popular. In fact, many bras like this one are now on the market with pockets for cell phones. Radiologist June Chen grew suspicious as she diagnosed more and more of her young patients with cancer. It's very unusual for young women in their 20s and 30s to have breast cancer, period, yet alone such extensive breast cancers. And these women are vehemently telling us that they wore their cell phones over the area, directly over the area where they subsequently developed this extensive breast cancer. And they're telling us that they wore these cell phones there on a routine and regular basis. She advises all women to keep their cell phones away from their bodies until studies conclude whether close proximity causes cancer. I do think that there may be an association and therefore, since we're not sure, let's be cautious. Most cell phone companies acknowledge some risk. For example, Apple advises keeping the iPhone more than half an inch from the body. But such safety guidelines are often overlooked. The cell phone companies, they all now say, keep the cell phone away from the skin, but none of them deal with the issue. It's, it's in the back of the manual, page 99, in small print. We need to get this to the surface. So according to some breast cancer survivors and the doctors who treat them, women should declare the bra a no-phone zone before it's too late. Lori Johnson, CBN News.